Alright everyone, welcome back to the UK once again. Today we have another British car, the Jaguar SVR Coupe. And here we go racing on dirt at Knox Hill. So in Scotland. Here's yeah, Scotland. Definitely some cool views and obviously a very cool racetrack. So this is the rally course as we go on to the dirt here. Oh boy, these cars are not ready for it whatsoever. This is some loose dirt. Very, very loose dirt. So we got to make sure we pay attention to where we're going here. Good night. Definitely loose dirt here. But fun nonetheless. So we have uh, done a lot of work to the cars once again. So all terrain tires as per usual, not having the best of grip I'd have to say, car kind of slipping and sliding around there just a tad. Definitely a lot of slipping and sliding from the car. Has a good sound though, I like how it sounds, that's for sure. Has a really neat sound to it, we go to the outside here. Has a really nice sound, I like it. So uh, we went from 10 laps to 6 laps, mostly because uh, this is a longer course. And also too is that our 10 lap race at Brad's Hatch didn't go so well. So we decided to uh, kind of shorten our race distance ever so slightly. And we'll see how we do as we totally missed the braking zone there. So we'll go ahead and get our joker lap done. Which won't really improve anything for us as our car does not turn there. That's, that's cool. Always like it when the car doesn't turn, that's always neat. And why on earth we have this nonsensical setup right there, I have no clue. Strange. Probably say you can't go blazing through there every 10 seconds, I guess, but still, odd. But yeah, this car's grip level and uh, res response is absolutely atrocious. Whether it is on asphalt or dirt it just it does not handle well and also by the way this is a all-wheel drive car so I was actually kind of expecting it to handle ever so slightly better on this particular uh, track I mean once you get going on the dirt it actually does a pretty good job but I mean it is like it is a very very loose vehicle and does not handle very well as you can see I mean you hit the brakes and just it does not want to turn at all so that's certainly unhelpful. Amazingly no carnage on this track so everybody has figured it out pretty well so I'm guessing that uh, they do this quite often with these Jaguars so that's pretty neat to kind of find out here so yeah I mean it just it does not want to turn at all. I think that's mostly because of a uh, fault with all-wheel drive cars is that they just, for some reason, I'm not sure if this is actually a real-life issue, but definitely uh, in any simulator that I've driven an all-wheel drive vehicle in, it's definitely an issue is that they simply have very hard turning. They do not want to turn under brake. They do a good job getting acceleration and grip and all that, but when it comes to actually turning and handling, they just are awful for whatever reason. So I'm not sure what all that's about, but they just do not have good handling. Another reason why electric cars aren't the uh, best move in life, because an all-wheel drive electric car doesn't usually handle that good. So that's kind of another reason why not to go that route. I mean, you get good grip, but when it comes to actually trying to make turns and stuff, eh, not so good, that's for sure. So we're still trying to get through here. As I said, car has some great grip, but I mean, you see right here, the car does not turn. I am turning hard to the right under brake and stuff, and it does not want to move at all. Handles pretty good, other than that, but yeah, just turning wise, it does not want to uh, cooperate. So, there we go, final lap of the race. Everyone seems to have gotten through pretty well. Uh, the leader has not taken his joker lap, so that's something he will need to uh, rectify prior to uh, crossing the finish line. So, we'll have to see if he uh, completes that or ends up uh, being disqualified from the race. 
It looks like he will try to attempt it, but that will probably cost him the win, honestly. Yeah, he is dropping back. Yeah, he completes it, but he loses the race to do it. So, not one of his best moves right there. And we're just having a terrible day back here anyways. But still, Jaguar, interesting vehicle. Not the best drivable uh, vehicle here. We might try it on another track, but uh, yeah, this definitely did not... It's not one of its better tracks. So there we go. Jaguar finished off the race. No damage. So that's that's certainly an improvement. Alrighty, guys. Here we are. We're going to try a little bit of a better track. We're going to go back to Daytona. One that I know and love quite well. We're going to see if this car handles any better with uh, better driving knowledge of the track. But I'm kind of not expecting that as we get into a bit of a pile up there first thing. Oh yeah, the car just does not turn in the corner. We're doing better. We're keeping up with these guys, but still, just it's it does not like turning. Ooh, we got some air there. That should be kind of cool to take a look at. A little bit more damage there in the front end. Not too bad. So, I mean, we're racing better, but yeah, it just does not turn. It's just an awful handling car when it comes to turning. Just you know, good night. You can't get it to do it. A little bit more damage. Thank you very much. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that was something else. That was something else. Good night. Those those guys are stuck. They're done. At least one of them's done. Good night. Wow. Um, I was not expecting that to happen, but it did, and I have to admit that I like it very, very, very much. That, uh, that, that was pretty cool, honestly. I guess we're going to hit the ball here just a little bit more. Got a little bit of front end damage, not too bad. That, that was neat. That was, that was something else. I think I saw a tire over there, so that's how much damage happened. That's, that's insane. I mean, this car just does not turn. It is... An awful handling car when it comes to turning, honestly. Yeah, it has great grip, accelerating, going through the dirt. It actually does pretty good on this particular dirt. I think the uh, the Knox Hill dirt was a little bit on the looser side, so it seems to do a bit of a better job here. You're going to hit the wall again. But yeah, it just it does not have good turn response at all, so that's certainly a bit of an issue. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's just, I can't, I cannot, I can barely get it to work there at speed so just that that's something else all right so that is pretty insane here the Jaguar on dirt experience is pretty intense as we saw there just a minute ago I gotta back up and make sure I get through the uh, the checkpoint here the uh, There we go, we got through it. Yeah, we're still losing pretty pretty badly here to the to the rest of these guys, but still, it is something else. It just it does not like turning at all. It is just such a hard to turn car. I mean I am not using any throttle, just trying to get it to cooperate and it just does not want to do it. We're going to come into the braking zone a lot earlier here. I mean, look at that. It just, it does not turn at all. Such a hard car to get to turn. And then we got to be super slow around the walls because we don't want to hit those. Because that will not end up well. So I think uh, the rest of the guys are on the final lap here. be real slow through here. There we go. Hit the wall a bit there. We got some engine damage done. The pile up here is we got some hot temps. That's mostly due to the front end damage. But yeah, you can kind of tell us that these cars are not meant to do this, but still pretty cool to give it a try anyways. But that, that, that one 
scene behind us was absolutely incredible. So, definitely helps having a track that you're a little bit better at, but this car is just, it does not want to cooperate steering wise. It's just so unresponsive with the turning. That's going to do it for us here today, guys. We're going to take a look at that replay. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, though. So, there we go. Finish the race. So, here we go, guys. Boom! Huge wreck behind us. You can see it right there. Jaboo! I mean, that is just huge. You can see the tire flying. Look at that. That is just insane carnage there. Just kaboom! Look at that. That is just insane. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for us here today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Subscribe to the other channels. And if you want to, you can check out the merch store in the links below. Thanks for coming along for this Wacky Wednesday. Jaguars on dirt. And we'll see you guys here next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.